Welcome to our SIL and Section 106 Contributions database. On this page, you can search for contributions information. You can view data in relation to a Maidstone parish or ward and find out how much income has been received and how much income has been spent. In this video, we are looking specifically at the SIL contributions. To view the SIL dashboard, click on the SIL tab next to the blue Home tab. This will bring up to the Community Infrastructure Levy dashboard. This shows how much money Maidstone Council has collected, spent and amounts available. SIL contributions from individual developments are divided into three different allocation plots. 5% goes towards the SIL administration, 15 or 25% depending on a made neighbourhood plan, and the remainder 70 or 80% goes into the SIL strategic fund. The potential column shows the SIL liability for chargeable development. The overall total can change over time if developments haven't commenced or where they are exempt from paying SIL. The collected column shows the SIL funds that have been received. The spent column shows how much has been allocated and spent. So let's have a look at the columns in more detail. If we click in the collected column under neighbourhood SIL, you will see four columns. The first column identifies the development application number. The neighbourhood zone column identifies the, the development, ward or parish area. The receipt date is a date we receive the SIL funds and the amount is a SIL receipts collected under the parish or ward. This is an example. Click on the application details. This will bring up the application site details and description of development. This is the same procedure if you would like to view the SIL admin and strategic pot. The next column we're going to look at is the spent. To view the SIL spend list where the money has been spent, click on the column under the neighbourhood SIL under the spend column. This will bring up a list of projects spent on the Neighbourhood Parish Council. If you hover over the description, this will give information as to what the money has been spent on. Now that we have gone through what each of the columns mean, let's look at filtering individual parish or wards. Click on the Neighbourhood Zone then move the cursor to the right where you enter your criteria. This will bring up a drop down box of all the parishes and ward. Click on the parish or ward you wish to view and then this will bring up the dashboard for that particular area. If you wish to view another parish or ward, you will need to click on the reset filter button to remove the previous search. And then you can follow the same process by clicking on the neighbourhood zone and then selecting the parish or ward you wish to view. If you need any further guidance, please contact the SIL team at sil at maidstone.gov.uk.